Hello everyone, welcome to Mo CD Culture Show and Tell. And on this episode, I know I said in my previous episode that it was going to be a two-parter. Well, when I looked at the workload, I decided to make it a three-parter instead. So, all said, if you may have guessed, it's going to be Weird Al Yankovic. And, and hopefully you guys had seen the weird you know, Weird Al Yankovic story, the the Rad um, the Radcliffe version, because that is just hilarious. They just tweaked it in the right way to make it funny and relevant, and and still give you the history without actually giving you the history. It was perfect. It was perfect. Well, anyway, we'll start with this one here because this is his first album, and this was in. This was in, where is it, 1983, 1983 he first, he first did his self-titled album and it is mostly accordion, like he does a lot of accordion work in this, it's his most accordion like, uh, like album, there's some pretty good gems, I really like Happy Birthday. But to go with his uh, parody songs, he has Ricky, which is a, uh, yeah, which is a, a parody of Mickey. Hey Mickey, you're so fine. And then there's I Love Rocky Road, which is a parody of I Love Rock and Roll. Then he Stop Dragging My Car Around, which is a parody of Stop Dragging My Heart Around. My Bologna, My Sharona. Another one rides the bus. Which is another one, you know, bites the dust. Uh, uh, then that's it. All the rest are pretty much his own songs. It's good. It's good. It's my uh, it's my least favorite, of course, for some reason. It well, it's not polished or anything. He didn't really have have his band. I don't think yet at that time, working with him. So it's it's the weakest album for me. But it's still pretty good. It is part of the collection, of course, you know. So we start with that one. But next is the album. And of course, everyone knows his first video was for Eat It. Well, no, actually, no. He did video. Uh, he did videos for Ricky and, and so on. I know, yeah, he did a video for Ricky. But the video that really... What the first video I ever seen was for Eat It. So this is in 3D. You know, I love this album. This is probably in the in the top three favorite albums of Weird Al because it has Midnight Star, The Brady Bunch, Buy Me a Condo, I Lost on Jeopardy, Polka on 45, which is a, a polka, his first polka. Mr. Popeil, which is about those uh, late night, um, those late night um, infomercials. Uh, the king of late night infomercials, King of Suede, which is a great parody of uh, King of Pain from from the Police. There's that boy could dance. The love theme from Rocky, which is the Eye of the Tiger parody, Lo and Nature Trail from Hell. But this was the this is the album that really kind of started off everything for for Weird Al, and I would have to say I was pretty much hooked from this album. I still did not really know about the first album yet, but you know that came a little later. But then we were I was pretty happy when this album came out. Dare to be stupid. And I tell ya, I really love that title track, Dare to be Stupid, because it's, it's, it's a parody, it's a style parody of a, of a Devo, you know, Devo style. Not, it's not a cover of a Devo song, but it's a, in the style of a Devo song. But then you got another song, another breakthrough song that really got him noticed, and Madonna's uh, Like a Virgin turned into Like a Surgeon. Then there's I Want a New Duck, you know, where I Want a New Drug, Yoda. I remember 
way back when I we, when I first listened to this, and I tell you this album. Okay, uh, first, well, first of all, let me see here. Yeah, in 3D was in 1984. This was in in 1985. So in 1985, we were just it was we we've been living on the in a trailer on uh, Ryan Road here in Moncton, and I I was in my room. My grandfather was trying to take a nap in the other room, and I didn't really realize. And I had the music on my headphones, and here I was singing Yoda. Yoda to the top of my lungs, you know, I couldn't help myself. It was just too good to, you know, it was so catchy to sing. And I'm, I'm me being a, a huge, a huge, huge uh, Star Wars fan. Yeah, I was hooked on that for sure. Oh, there's such great, great tracks on that. George of the Jungle, uh, Girls Just Want to Have Lunch, you know, a parody of Girls Just Want to Have Fun. There's a This Is The Life, which is um, a song that was on the soundtrack to a movie called Johnny Dangerously with uh, Michael Keaton. Cable TV and Hooked on Polka, another polka song. So, so those were the, those were really great albums that, that got me hooked on Weird Al Yankovic. Then came his next album, which I would have to admit is a bit of a, a little bit a disappointment. It's a dip, and even his sales and everything from this album kind of kind of showed it too. He even admitted this was kind of a little bit of a dud for him too. But I, I mean, I still love it. I mean, it has great tracks. It has "Living with a Hernia." It has "Addicted to Spuds." It has another parody with "Polka Party." I mean, another polka hit with Polka Party. Here's Johnny, you know. Uh, Tootless People, Good Enough For Now. And then a Christmas song, Christmas at Ground Zero. So I try to play that every holiday, but I, I don't always remember. <laughs> so let's move on to the next one, which is even worse. But no, actually, it's better. <laughs> In quality, is better because it has that. It has it has fat. Another another Michael Jackson parody for bad from bad. Um, it also has this song is just six words long. This song is just six words long. I think I'm a clone now. La 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 lasagna. Uh, um, alimony, <laughs> which is a parody of a. Uh, of uh, Billy Idol's Money Money, which is great. Uh, uh, I love Good Old Days, the last track on that, because it's just, it's just fun. And this is such wholesome comedy, too, you know. He goes a little gross, maybe a little bit, a little bizarre, but he keeps it PG. I mean, definitely, or even a little bit better than PG. So that is going to conclude part one of the Weird Al collection. I got some more cool stuff in the next one. And like I said, I wanted to break it up in three parts because it's just going to get too unwieldy to do it all in one take. And I want, you know, I like breaking it up because it just adds a little bit more content to, to YouTube. Hopefully it'll get me some extra views and stuff. But yep, that, that's part one of Weird Al. I want to thank all my sus my subscribers, all 16 of you so far. And everybody who does watch my videos, I, I really appreciate it. You know, sub if you like, but please hit like and comment. Again, that's what's going to give me uh, a good beat on, uh, on how well I'm doing with these. If you like it, please let me know and tell me how to improve if you can give me some some uh, some criticism whatever I really I really want it so take care everyone be safe I will see you on the flip side and have a great day night evening wherever you may be bye bye